So we're here at Cradle Mountain just doing our first walk. It's the Enchanted Walk just next to the Pepper's Cradle uh, Lodge and it is cold. We're here in January in summer and you can see how I'm dressed. So dress accordingly. Uh, we took the shuttle bus in which runs every 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, $15 will get you a three day pass and it runs from 8am to 6pm and it'll take you all through the park. So yeah, we're going to do lots of different hikes and take you along the journey. We stayed at Cradle Mountain Fisheries and Camping, a free camping place just 15 minutes outside of the park, which gave us great access. The first day we arrived at around lunchtime and spent the day exploring some of the shorter walks around Cradle Mountain Lodge. And we saw all of the wildlife that day. We saw wombats and echidnas, even a little platypus that lives in the lake out back. So if you're looking for wildlife, you don't need to go far. So we're out at Dove Lake Circuit this morning with my parents ready for a 6k hike. The sun is out, the wind is still, it's going to be a beautiful morning. So you may be wondering, how many days do I need to experience Cradle Mountain? We booked three, Kieran was worried we would need a fourth. Uh, because the weather does turn on a dime. It's the middle of January and one day it can be 20 degrees, the next it can be snowing. We had planned to do one more hike in Cradle Mountain, but unfortunately on day three the weather has turned. So we've decided to leave early and we've come down to Montezuma Falls. It's a 10k hike five kilometres at a slight incline through the rainforest up until the waterfall and then a 5k hike back to the car park. It is very muddy so make sure you pack your hiking boots. And I've never seen so many types of moss. These almost look like they're supposed to be slimy. It's incredible. I love the water dripping down. Strawn was the perfect place to rest, relax and unwind. Now the journey continues off to Mount Field.
crabs and oysters with the, the sauces. I really hope that they have fruit toast. It's still warm. So we've arrived in Bruni Island and we have headed to a place called Get Shucked mm -hmm. to get ourselves an oyster. And it's the first time we've ever eaten oysters before. I've, I've tried it once before and I didn't like it, so <laughs> I'm a little nervous. We've got all the sauces, so oh. I feel like if I put sauces on it, it'll be okay. How are you supposed to eat it? So you use this to kind of go around it and then you just swallow it. But you might want to put a bit of lemon on it. And what sauces have we got? Um, I'm not 100% sure. I know that's mayo and wasabi. That looks like some sort of a Asian kind of got some spring onion and some chili in it. Oh, Tazzy, Tazzy ginger beer. Got that on good shark, get shark too. Cheers. Cheers. Let's clean the palate. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Good stuff. Okay, you go first. <laughs> so. Oh. Yep, that's it. And then where do, where do, where do I put the sauce? Just maybe squeeze a little bit of lemon on it. There you go. Ooh. Ooh. Let's go at the same time. At the same time? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna put a bit of the Chinese depth there. Um. Keep girls on your side, thanks. Cheeky. All right. Oh, it looks like a brain. Okay. But when in Rome. Okay. You put lemon on it. You want? Oh. Damn. <laughs> Cheers. What? I swallowed. <laughs> Look, it's way less fishy than I thought it would be. I think I ate some shell. <laughs> I think I got some shell. I think you did, because there's a whole chunk missing. Uh, Did you eat shell? <laughs> bit of shell and ginger beer. 